Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Oh, man. Today we're talking about somebody who wanted to throw some tampons at some kids. Let's watch. I bet you're wondering what this individual is dressed up as. If you look at this individual in the back, it looks like they're dressed up like a tampon. <sighs> Once again, leaving the kids out of this, why you would take your kids to see this drag show and have somebody who's dressed up in a tampon. These are children, these little bitty girls. Are y'all seeing that at the front? These are itty bitty girls. That's got to be, yeah, five to seven. Five to seven. Come on now. Five to seven. We're throwing tampons at them. What is the point of this show? And then they got the flags on at the bottom. I just, I just, sorry, wrong button. I just don't understand why people just want to constantly always put their kids into the, this kind of stuff. Um, but before we continue, if you ever want to donate to the channel, people ask me about this, so I put it up. Uh, here it is. What can I change? T S S S. I always forget to do it, so I'm just gonna talk about it now. There it is. All right, done with that. Um, so, listen, the kids don't need to constantly have it put in their face i don't even understand what the tampons is supposed to mean why would you throw that at little bitty kids and their reaction to cheering about it like what's special about a tampon what's special about that women know what that means it just means there's something that happens with them because they have a uterus and they bleed why like what is special about it yes a tampon yes tampons I don't understand that. It's like, to me, it's just like, what is there to cheer about that? That stuff costs money. You got to go to the store and go get that once a month or whenever your cycle happens. I, my wife does not scream and yell and cheer when she has to use one of those things. I don't mean, I've never met any women who are like, yes, I can't, ah, I can't wait for my period. Tampons and they go chunking them out at each other. I've never even seen them interact with the, that kind of stuff. They, they don't talk about that kind of stuff. One, it'd be inappropriate at work. But two, it's just kind of like, Nobody is excited about tampons, but these weirdos, for some reason, are just like, yes, yes, I'm glad you're throwing tampons at my two little girls here, my little kids who are sitting up here with the, with the LGB flag on them. There is something, there's just something to me wrong with kid, uh, parents who want to always involve them kids in every bit of their lives. Have y'all ever met people like that? And I'm not always talking about sexuality of that, but you ever met uh, other adults and other parents who are always talking about their kids? Uh, always bringing their kids into like adult situations like you and your friends could be having a drink and they bring their five-year-old son in there and say sit down buddy let's talk and y'all start talking about stuff that is completely meant for adults and for some reason they want to bring their kids around isn't that the most weirdest thing on earth it is weird that people there are some people who treat their kids like they're meaning he's and when i say meaning me like you talking about you know like austin powers because he was an adult man that's what they treat kids like they treat them like they're mini adults they're just small it's like, no, they're not. They're not intellectually ready to have these adult conversations. Let him go. Let him or her go play on the playground. Why do they need to be in here talking with us about adult things? Um, in fact, when that's ever happened to me, I don't even talk. I just leave. Like if I, if I see a conversation where I see little kids around and I'm talking about uh, we're trying to talk about adult thing, like a real. No, I'm not talking about we're having a conversation like human beings. Right. I'm not going to talk in a kitty voice to another human being. if we're working in a work environment, we could talk like normal adults. But if we're starting to talk like deep stuff, like real adult stuff outside of work and there's kids involved. No, absolutely not. You know what I mean? And a lot of times when us, uh, at my when I'm at work and kids come around, I tell them, hey, adults are talking. Go back over there. That's what I normally do. If we're talking about something that's maybe not school related or something adults need to talk about. I tell the kids, just go away. How hard is that? But there's people who want, it's like they want the kids to be involved. It's like they get some kind of sick sense about it. I just, I just don't understand it. But let me know. Uh, do you cheer every time you see a tampon at the store? Do you cheer when tampons get thrown at your children? Do would you take your, in fact, I want to hear this. Honestly, I do. If you take your kids to these LGB events, I will try my best to respond if I see it. In fact, I'll go back to this video to see if it has any comments. Why would you take your kids there? What do you want to teach them about sexuality? Why do you feel that they need to know about it? Okay, goodbye.